If you recently bought a second-hand iPhone and got a device stuck on the activation lock screen, forgot your iCloud password, or the phone had to be reset and now asks for iCloud login, and you simply don't have access to the previous owner's Apple ID, to unlock your iPhone and remove the iCloud activation lock, you will need to use Dr. Phone. Dr. Phone recently introduced a new feature specifically designed for this problem, Unlock All iOS iCloud Activation Lock, which supports every iPhone model from iPhone XR up to iPhone 17 Pro Max. First, download and install Dr. Phone on your computer. Once Dr. Phone is open, go to the main screen and select Toolbox, then look for the option called Screen Unlock. Inside this menu, you'll see several unlocking features available, including Unlock iOS Screen, Remove Activation Lock, Remove Apple ID, and more. Dr. Phone provides multiple ways to unlock your device depending on your situation. If your iPhone fully supports the Remove Activation Lock method, select that option to start turning your device into Activation Lock to owner status. But if your device isn't eligible for activation lock removal, or if the phone has not been factory reset yet, you can use the unlock iOS screen method instead. This helps access the device first, before applying a deeper unlock later. To continue, Dr. Phone will ask you to put your device into DFU mode. Once your device successfully enters DFU mode, Dr. Phone will begin reading your system information and prepare to download the correct firmware package. Before the unlock process can continue, you need to download the firmware first. The next screen shows the progress bar of the unlocking iOS device. As the iDevice is unlocked successfully, click the Done button to conclude the process. Your device should restart and display the Hello screen just like when setting up a brand new iPhone. Follow the on-screen setup steps. Choose your language region, connect to Wi-Fi, and then sign in using your own Apple ID. You can also create a new Apple ID if needed. If you previously had a backup, you can restore it from iCloud, iTunes, or even transfer data from another device during setup. After everything finishes, you'll arrive at the home screen, and your iPhone will be ready to use normally.